guys? Johnny May here from Piano With Johnny. And guys, today I'm so excited to teach you my favorite blues shuffle groove. I think this is the ultimate blues shuffle groove. And in today's lesson, you guys are gonna learn this exact groove. I'm gonna teach you the theory behind it. I'm gonna teach you how to practice it, how to start off nice and slowly and get those rolls nice and smooth. Because if you don't have smooth blues rolls, you don't have a blues shuffle. So those blues rolls really matter. So guys, let's go ahead and dive in. Make sure you're sitting at your keyboards. You're gonna learn the complete 12 bar blues shuffle. And after this lesson, guys, you're gonna sound like a pro. I kid you not, you play this with a band, they're gonna be like, you sound amazing, right? This is pro level stuff. All right, here it is, guys. The full, ultimate, advanced blues shuffle. Again, this is for advanced piano players. If you're on the intermediate side, that's cool as well. If you are a total beginner, I have the ultimate beginner blues shuffle. Go ahead and check that lesson out. And let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so guys. How does this shuffle work? Well, the first thing you need to know is the 12 bar blues form. And in the key of G, you need to know your sort of three chords. So we have a G7, you can practice this in both hands. Then we have a C7, that's gonna be up here. C, E, G, B flat. C, E, G, B flat. That's a C7. And then your D7 is your five chord. D, F sharp, A, and C, okay? So this is a G blues, right? This is your one chord, your four chord, and your five chord, okay? The other thing that's really, really important to know is the blues form, okay? And there's different ways of playing the blues form. This is a pretty cool way of doing it, not the easiest, but this is a, a standard way which the pros will play the blues, okay? So let's walk through the form here real quick. So the one chord is a G7. This is on measure one. On measure two, it's a four chord. Measure three and four is a one chord. Okay, then we go to a four chord on measure five, a four chord on measure six, and then a one chord on measure seven, and a one chord on measure eight. Okay, you guys following along here? Okay, then on measure nine, you're gonna go to a D7. Measure 10, you're gonna go to a C7. Measure 11, you're gonna go to a G7. And measure 12, you're gonna go to a D7. Okay, you guys really gotta know the blues form before I teach you the shuffle, because you need to know when the chords change. Let's do it one more time, and then I'll teach you the shuffle. Okay, here we are on the one chord. Two, three, four, a four chord. Three, four, a one chord. Four again, two, three, and now to a four chord, three, four, one, two, three, and back to a one chord, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now the five chord, two, three, four, the four chord, three, four, one, two, three, and back to the five, okay? Make sure this progression is nice and smooth. You gotta have the chord, uh, the form of the 12 bar blues memorized before you actually, actually play the, uh, the blue shuffle. Okay, let's go ahead and do the blue shuffle, guys. This is super, super exciting. We're gonna start with measure one and we're just gonna focus on the groove itself, okay? This is the way the advanced uh, blue shuffle goes. By the way, we have the sheet music here. If you read sheet music notation, if you don't read sheet music notation, no problem. I'm gonna show you all the notes and explain the rhythms. By the way, this sheet music is included in the Piano with Johnny membership. Our members get access to the downloadable sheet music, which is a pretty cool feature. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and start with the left hand. What we're gonna do is do a little pickup into the left hand. That's gonna be a single note D in the left hand, okay? So we're looking at the left hand first by itself. Here's the left hand groove. This is a groove on the G chord, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm starting with the two finger by itself, okay? And then I go uh, G and D, pinky and thumb, same uh, notes again, G and E, and then single note D, okay? That's the basic pattern, okay? Watch me do it again. D by itself, G and D, up to E, and then D by itself, and then same thing, okay? This is my ultimate advanced blues shuffle left hand, okay? This sounds so cool because it swings, right? You're throwing that little eighth note, eighth note in there. One and two and three and four and one. The trick is getting this transition there, okay? Make sure you're using two finger to the thumb, okay? This is your basic left hand groove for all the chords. So you're gonna do this on the G chord. One and two and three and four. Practice this on the G. Get nice and comfortable with. This is a kind of a medium blues uh, tempo. 
I wouldn't go any faster than this. Okay, I give you a range here of about 100 to 110 beats per, per minute. Okay, now we're gonna do this on the C chord. And it's the same formula, right? C and G up to A and then G by itself. Make sense? That's it, guys. And you're just gonna practice this on the C, okay? Now, if you're gonna do this on the D chord, it's the same formula, right? That's gonna be A and D by itself, root fifth, up to the D, B, and then the A by itself, okay? So what I would do is I would just go through each one of these chords and really master this left hand groove. Guys, you can't add the right hand until you have the, le have the left hand. The left hand is the foundation of the groove. It's what drives the blues groove. In fact, any groove you play, a blues groove or a Latin groove or a swing groove, you gotta have that left hand before you start adding the right hand chords, okay? So practice the G, nice and comfy, okay? Do the C for a little while. You're sounding great. And then do the D for a little while. Okay? And that's it, guys. That's the left hand for the blue shuffle. The other quick note is how to change between chords. And there's a little trick that I really like to use, which is to anticipate the new chord. And when you start on measure one with a G, one and two and three and four, when you get to the and of four, you can anticipate the new chord and one by going to the fifth of the new chord. Let's do that again. One and two and three and four and one. You see that? And one, that's the two finger to the thumb. Okay, and you do this on all the chords. So when you go back to the G, and one. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to a C chord, so we go and one. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And back to the G chord, and one. Okay, you get the idea here? Not too hard, okay? D7 and one, you're gonna use the A there, and one, two, three, four, two C, or two C, right? That's the G there, and three, and four, and then to G, two, three, four, and then now to D, and one, two, three, four, okay? So on the end of beat four, you anticipate the new chord by going to the fifth of the chord. Keep in mind that whenever you do this, you're gonna use the two finger, and one to swing it, okay? Uh, by the way, we're swinging the left hand. Make sure you're not playing it straight. It's not, you know, one and two and three. It's one and two and three and four. Okay, guys, right hand, you ready for this? This is one of the coolest right hands. I love this right hand. Check it out. Don't get cooler than that, guys. You wanna play the blues, you gotta have the blue notes and you gotta have the rolls. And that's exactly what we have here. Two of the most important elements of the blues, blue notes and blues rolls. We got them both in this uh, right hand blues shuffle. Okay, here's what we're doing guys. Let's go ahead and play this together. By the way, the red dot here is middle C. We're gonna use two finger on the B flat, pinky on the G. This is a strike. And then we're gonna roll down a C or a G6 chord, G, B, D, and E. Okay, so go ahead and strike with me and then the roll. Pretty cool, huh? And just practice that. Nice and smooth. And you really wanna speed that up. Make sure your roll is very smooth. You don't want it to be uh, jagged, right? They should all have the same value. Okay, so that's the first part. One and, okay? By the way, this G comes on, on the and. One and two and. That's gonna be our rhythm. Okay, let's get the notes here first. So we have one and two, that's C and G. And then we have and, that's B flat and G, okay? That's the basic groove, guys. That is all you need to learn because this repeats itself, okay? So once more, you strike here, you roll down, C and G, and then B flat and G, okay? Now let's get the rhythm here, okay? You're gonna start on the and of beat four, four and one and. You see how that works? Once more, four and one and, okay? One and, and then you have two and, okay? We're gonna do this rhythm again. Three and four and one and two and. So getting that G on the end is a little tough at first because you, you have to like sort of time out that roll, but if you're counting three and four and one and two, 
too, right? Getting that G on the end is gonna be your hardest thing, but once you get it, you're gonna get it. And also the left hand really helps to lock in with the right, right hand there, okay? So that's gonna be the basic idea of this. I would just practice this, go slowly, one, So just, it, it's a tricky little rhythm at first, but once you start looping it, you'll start to feel it. And as you speed it up, three and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, it will feel a lot more natural. Okay, now that's gonna be the G chord, and basically, you're gonna use this same rhythmic device on all the chords, uh, except you're gonna change just one note when you get to the C chord. When you get to the C chord, on the roll down, you're gonna use E, D, B flat, and G. And this is to match your chord because you have a C dominant seven, which uses a B flat in the chord, unlike the G seven, which uses a B, okay? So when you do the roll down, you gotta use the B flat, okay? So here we are here on measure two. On the C chord, you're gonna go and one, and two, and three, and four. It's the same notes coming up here, C and G, just to B flat and G, but it's the roll that's different. Uh, again, three and four and one and two. It's that guy, okay? So you might wanna just practice this roll by itself. Okay, notice it's on the and on the G. Four and one and two and three and four. Okay, so really work on that timing. When you get to the D chord, you're gonna use a slightly different roll and this is really cool, check it out. So what we're gonna do here is strike C, E, and A. Use my fingering here, thumb, index, and pinky. You're gonna strike and roll down F sharp, F, and C. Like that. Okay, so one, or three, and four, and one, and two. That's our second chord, D, G, and B. And then back to the same chord. And three, and four. Does that make sense? Once more, and one, and two, and three, and four. And again, getting that C on the and is a little tricky at first. I'll do it a little faster. Three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, okay? Getting that on the end will be a tricky thing at first. That's gonna be the D chord, guys, and from here, you got all the right hand chords. Let's go ahead and put the right hand together. You're doing a great, awesome job with this. And let's put, start from the top. Okay, here we go on the G chord, three and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Now to the C chord, and one, and two, and three, four, and back to the G chord, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, to the C chord, and one, the G chord, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, four. Now to the D chord, and one, two, and three, four, and here we're gonna go to the C chord. Okay, here it is again. And one, two, and three, four, to the G chord, and one, two, three, four, and back to the D chord, and one, and back to the G chord and one, okay? So that is the way the hands come together. I would just practice the right hand by itself and make sure that's nice and smooth. I would like for you to be able to play the whole thing. And last guys, we're gonna put the hands together and this is gonna be rocking. This is gonna sound so cool. Check out how the hands come together on measure one. Three, four, and one, two, four, one. That's the G chord, okay? What we're gonna do is start with this together, okay? And then we have this by itself, one, and then the roll, that's together, two, and, and that's together, okay? And this basically repeats itself. One, four, and, one, two, and, three, and, four. Again, getting it on the and is the trickiest part, okay? Once more, and, one, and, is together, two, 
Okay, it's actually hard to play slowly as you speed it up. It, hopefully you'll start to groove on it. But that's the basic groove, guys. You want to speed that up, maybe medium tempo, three, four. Play along with me, you're doing great. Once you get to the C chord, you anticipate the C chord, and one, two, just like that, okay? We'll go slow, three and four, and one, that's together, two, and is together, three, and is together, four, make sense? And you can just groove on the C chord. to the D chord because that is going to be a little different, okay? On the D chord, you're going to first hit and here, so and one, and that's the roll, and one, two, and then and three, and four, okay? That's the basic way the hands come together. I'll do it once more, and one, and two, and this by itself, three, go to the C chord. And you want to speed up the D chord, three and four. Okay, that's by itself, okay? Or that lines up together. Guys, that's all the chords. Let's go ahead and put the whole form together. You're doing awesome. Make sure you're putting the time in, practicing each chord by itself. And then once you got it, we go ahead and put all of the chords together, okay? Here we go, start on a measure one, three and four, and one. Great job. Really try to feel that groove. 2G. Here's the D. You're sounding great. And the D. That sounds awesome and what you guys want to do is speed that up. I think a great tempo for this is about here. That sounds really cool. Okay, you guys have a range here 100 to 110 beats per minute. Keep in mind the way I accent. Three, four, and one, two. Three, four, one. I like to accent that back beat, beats two and four. All right, guys, let's go ahead and play this with the Blues Back Gang track, which comes with uh, this lesson in the Piano with Johnny membership. You guys can check that out. Let's go ahead and play it with the track. Hey guys, this concludes the ultimate advanced blues shuffle. Did you guys like this lesson? If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. Now guys, we are giving away a the free backing track for this lesson. All you have to do is click the link below. Also, we have the 10 day Piano with Johnny advanced blues challenge. This is a free challenge that you can sign up for and you will get a video every two days where you will learn a new aspect of the blues. I'm gonna be teaching you the blues chord the blues form. I'm going to teach you two blues shuffles and then I'm going to teach you how to solo over the blues. We're going to talk about constructing eighth note lines, triplet lines, harmonized lines, slides, up slides, down slides, double slides. I'm going to teach you my three principles that I think about when I'm soloing that help guide me when I'm soloing and then I'm going to teach you three tips that will help you to create interesting lines. So be sure to check out the free 10-day Piano with Johnny Advanced Blues Challenge. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. You're going to be seeing more of these videos and I'll see you in the next lesson.